basically, lore is a dumb and technology is a troll. So the way these videos are recorded is that commentary and gameplay footage and sounds are recorded in two separate programs. Well, I accidentally record, uh, saved over my first episode's commentary when I did the second episode. And I thought I undid and was able to fix it. But it was only after I finished recording the rest of the episodes during that session that I went back and realized that the project that I thought had my first episode's commentary in it just had eight seconds of dead silence. So, I'm going to have to post-commentate this entire part. Luckily, the footage wasn't lost, because in the game I am playing, it is kind of impossible or really hard to actually reset the game properly. I'm sorry, the rest of the episodes are fine, and I should know I'm working on them right now. Just bear me with me for this first episode, and things will go back to normal after that. Thanks! Also, just for the record, my microphone is kind of being suckish right now, so there are weird noises coming from it. Don't worry, it does get better as the video goes on, but at the start, it's really bad. Just a warning. Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Mount Evett, 21X. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. Hey guys, this is Paper Lore Plays, or more accurately, Future Paper Lore Plays, and welcome, welcome, welcome to a brand new Let's Play adventure. As you can see from the title screen, we're headed underground this time, or to the underground to be precise, in the recent indie PC and Mac game Undertale, and apparently the intro is going to play again. Created by This game was created by Toby Radiation Fox, most well known for his work on Homestuck soundtrack. It was released a couple of weeks ago, back in September, um, September 15th, I think, and has gotten a lot of attention since. It was the number one tag in video games on Tumblr around the first week it was out. First or second, I'm not entirely sure, but one thing's for sure, it has gotten a lot of attention and a lot of hype. Now, this game is a little different than what I usually, I can't say usually play on this channel because this channel's kind of new, but it is a little different and I was kind of nervous to start this. However, a couple of things got me into it. First off, I wanted to s jump on the hype train and see what all the fuss was about. A lot of my friends had been talking about it and I was curious. I wanted to play it for myself. And secondly, I got a huge amount of support when I brought the idea up to my friends. In fact, I got a request for it. Even before I really said anything, I, I mean, even before I really said anything that I was planning on doing this LP. And it's been a great experience so far. This game is really good so far. Though I've only recorded a bit of a ways into it. And now I'm kind of stalling for time because I'm not sure what else I said on this screen that is making me stay here for so long. That's the thing with post-commentary. Because this video was recorded with live commentary, I'm not sure where all the pauses are going to be. Also, I keep hearing my microphone doing weird things. So if it keeps doing weird things, I'll either have to re-record this or I'm just gonna... Anyway, uh, simple controls here. This game looks simple, but it's kind of anything but. And you're gonna kind of appreciate that pretty fast once it actually starts up here. Which should hopefully be soon, and on the other hand, I'm just gonna talk snarkily. 
because there's going to be no future lore quotes in this video because, of course, maybe I'm just going to talk about that. Oh, all right. Name the fallen human. Looks like we're finally getting on with it. All right. Well, gee, I wonder what I'm going to name them. I always have trouble finding the U's on alphabetic keyboards. There we go. There we go. That's it. Lore. Very dramatic lore. Look at that. Look at that zoom. Alright, let's go with it. Let's go. Come on. Dramatic whiteout. And the game starts pretty simply. We're just on a bed of pretty flowers here. Where this little person... I'm not entirely sure if it's a boy or a girl. I think that's intentional. Anyway, uh, just arrow keys to walk around. Pretty simple. Not a lot of hoopla to start off. It looks very earthboundy. Um, we got the menu here. Item stat. Lower level 1, HP 20 of 20. Attack 0, defense 0. Experience 0, next 10. Weapon stick, armor bandage, gold 0. Pretty standard. We're just starting out in an RPG, so... And we have an item menu, but there's nothing there yet. Now, I actually played the demo for this game and really enjoyed it, but I actually had trouble finding that hallway because it was sort of black and white. Oh, this guy. Howdy! I'm Flowey! Flowey the flower! Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly! You must be so confused! Someone ought to teach you how things work around here! I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go! See that heart? That's your soul. The very culmination of your being. You can move that around with a D-pad. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through little white Friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around. Get as many as you can. I don't know if I trust a flower. Hey, buddy, you missed him. Let's try again, okay? I, I don't know. I don't like those things. Is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the bullets. I mean, friendliness pellets. You know what's going on here, don't you? You just wanted to see me suffer. Die! <laughs> Saved by a goat. What a terrible creature, torturing such a pure, poor, innocent soul. Uh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Yeah, that flower was kind of a troll. I played the demo, and I knew what he was up to, so I just wanted to see the dialogue if you just missed, because I heard it was pretty funny, and it was. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that flower's a jerk. And he's totally got a troll face, okay? That was totally a troll face. Don't lie. Don't lie. Okay, Laura, move on. I don't know what you were talking about here, but move on. Follow the goat. Follow the goat. Yeah, there you go. There you go, buddy. Okay. Yeah, just, just, okay, follow the goat. Just, just follow her. Yes, you're having problems finding the save point. Just hit the check items button, which is, should be, um, X or Z or whatever you have to do. There we go. No, you missed it. Go back around to the save point. All right. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Alright, I was debating whether I should save on this run or not, um, because it's an RPG, and if I lose footage, well, I'd be kind of screwed. I mean, 
As I said earlier, I would be totally screwed if I lost footage because there is pretty much no way to reset your file. But as you can see, I decided to, which, I mean, it's for the best. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Alright. Seems legit. To make progress here, you'll need to f trigger several switches. Do not worry. I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Press Z to read signs! <laughs> right! That's that's a great piece of advice there, sign. Pity you put it on a sign. Hmm. Stay on the path. Uh, no fudge you. I'm gonna go off the path. Actually, I'm not. The first switch is over on the wall. All right. Please press this switch, Tori. Yep, she really wants us to press that switch. I don't know what that switch did, but oh, oh, it must have gotten rid of spikes or something. Wow. Even I don't notice these things. Let's press the switch to tutorial. Splendid! I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. This switch doesn't even work. Well then why is it there? As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. Alright, so we're going to be getting into the fight mechanics of the game. Kind of. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Solve for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Well, thank you, my beloved smother. I think I... I... Do you need some ideas for conversation topics? Well, I often start with a simple how do you do. You can ask them about their favorite books. Jokes can be useful for breaking the ice. Listen to this one. What did the skeleton tile his roof with? Shingles. Well, I thought it was amusing. <laughs> Don't worry, I did too. Oh man, there's lots of puns in this game. Alright. So we're sort of seeing what's here for us to do. But this isn't an actual fight, so uh, none of these really matter except for act, dummy... Uh, let's check. Dummy attack zero, defense zero. A cotton heart and a button eye. You are the apple of my eye. I'm gonna be checking every enemy just to see the little dialogue. Dummy looks like it's going to fall over. <laughs> so I'm gonna be checking every enemy for the little tidbits, and also they give hints. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won! You earned zero XP and zero gold. Ah, very good. You are very good. Thank you. I'm just imagining this small child just talking to this dummy awkwardly because the goat mom is staring her down. <laughs> but yes, I will be reading the little tidbits uh, when you hit check because they give hints for something that I wanted to do. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Alright. Let's just follow her. Okay, first random encounter. Froggit attacks you. Now we can actually show uh, what stuff does here. You can fight, act, use an item, or mercy. And uh, you actually, um, there are a few different ways you can play this game. Froggit attack, four defense, five. Life is difficult for this enemy. Oh, well, I guess we're not showing them off right now. It's been a long day, okay? Zero XP and zero gold. I, I don't remember how this first part goes, despite playing it twice. Good job, Lore. The Western Room is the Eastern Room's blueprint. This is the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. Well, it looks like this game is gonna do some hand-holding! <laughs> no, I actually think that's the joke here. Uh, this is, like, supposed to be some kind of... Mocking of how some games can be a little handholdy with the tutorials. This game mocks a lot of RPG things. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. 
This game mocks a lot of uh, RPG conventions. You've done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. And unnecessarily... I think this song is even called Unnecessary Tension. Unnecessary Tension. I'm gonna walk on this floor. I'm gonna walk this floor. I'm gonna walk it like you've never seen a floor walk before. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna walk this floor and I'm gonna rock doing it. Okay. 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 My microphone's gonna make weird noises again. I swear, it's driving me nuts. Alright, so we got to the end here. There's a pillar. The pillar is going dot dot dot. Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind the pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Alright, so now we have a new option in the menu, if I'm gonna open it here. Yep, and the cell phone. Which, uh, we can do various things here. Say hello about yourself, call her mom, or flirt, and I figured a lot of people were gonna ask me to want me to do the flirt thing. So I decided to... Huh? Oh! Ha! 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 How adorable. I could pinch your cheeks. You are certainly fine better than an old woman like me. And I would have done the call her mom option, or basically any of the others. Er, well, apparently I did the, the tutorial. You only wanted to say hello? Well then, hello. I hope that suffices. <laughs> Yeah, I would have done the color mom option, but that also would have looked weird after the flirt again. And she's gonna interrupt us again. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left a room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Click. Um, but yeah. I, I kind of dropped out of my mind doing the other ones. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way, or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please, use some mercy, human. Alright, that is the basic introduction to the mechanics of this game. It says, take one, take a piece of candy, sure. You took a piece of candy. Press C to open the menu. So now we've got an item for the first time, and I keep getting sidetracked. Funny, because that happened in the live recording. Tutorial kept interrupting me. Heels 10 HP has a distinct non-licorice flavor. <laughs> anyway, uh, this game, the main gimmick of this very creative game is that it's an RPG where nobody has to die. You can not kill a single enemy, and it's known as a pacifist run, and it's for the best ending, but I hear that you cannot get the best ending the first time through. You can only get the neutral ending. However, so far, this run has been pacifist. Before I can confirm, so I because I can't confirm it. Rocket didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. And uh, this is our first introduction to attacks, which are basically dodging bullet patterns like that. Rocket seems reluctant to fight you. That means we can spare it. And um, you get better endings the less enemies you kill. You earn zero XP and two gold. There's, it's possible to do uh, playfully crinkling through the leaves it fills you with determination. All right, so it's possible to do a run where you literally kill everything, but it's kind of horrifying, and I don't want to do it. I mean, at least from what I've seen, I've seen the end of the genocide path. But yes, I'm not sure how the endings work. So so far, this run has been completely pacifist as I have recorded it. Whimsum appeared meekly. Uh. Let's check. Whimsum, attack 5, defense 0. This monster is too sensitive to fight. <laughs> I didn't think I'd actually seen any of their attacks up to this point. It's starting to smell like lavender and mothballs. So, we could have just spared this guy from the beginning. He doesn't want to fight us. Uh, if an enemy... If a random encounter is not a new enemy, I'm just going to uh, cut it out. 
With new enemies, I will definitely show what attack patterns I can, what dialogue I can. Alright. Uh, here she is interrupting us again. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Honestly, I've always loved cinnamon. But I have actually been warming up to butterscotch cookies, and that's only been recently. I d used to not like it at all. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Yeah, I wouldn't turn up my nose. Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. <laughs> You're gonna find out really soon that the writing in this game is actually spot on. Alright, another froggit. Uh, what happens if you thread in it? I'm scared anyway. I'm not gonna, like, do every act option for every enemy. At least I eventually decided not to. I'm not sure what I was doing here. I already cut out most of the random fights in this video. Why didn't I cut out this one? I don't know. Past me doesn't make sense. Alright, that was simple enough, and now we got this to do. A little more complicated, nothing too terrible, and I say that as I immediately fall through the floor. And I'm obviously gonna leave without explaining the puzzle, okay. This reminds me of a puzzle. And I obviously screwed it up. Uh, Alright, that was, that was just a random enemy, so... Please don't step on the leaves. Alright, so basically the thing of this puzzle is that you have to mirror the pattern on the top part without going into where- without stepping over the- where the leaves are on the bottom. Pretty simple. I mean, at least I thought so. Uh, frog had hopped close. Um, frog didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Right, because we didn't even get to do that last time because Toriel just jumped in. Uh, yeah, alright. Da 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 that was, that was, that was through quick. Didn't you read the sign downstairs? Wow, I'm getting sass from a sign. I'm getting sassed by a sign, guys. This is... I, I'm not gonna take that sign sass, okay? I'm not gonna take it, I'm not gonna... Well, I did take it, but... <sighs> ah, Lord, seriously? Ugh. <sighs> It's kind of weird to think I just recorded these yesterday. Oh, mold small blocked the way. Mold small. We can already spare it, but hey, I said I would. Attack six, defense zero. Stereotypical, curvaceous, attractive, but no brains. Scorch. So we're kind of being attacked by living jello here. Uh, mold small waits pensively. Uh, what else can we do? Uh. Let's flirt with it. You wiggle your hips. Mold Small wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation. <laughs> just imagining this small child just wiggling at it. It's like, is, is this what I do to make friends with it? <laughs> oh, the protagonist is kind of a cute cutie. You lie immobile with Mold Small. You feel like you understand the world a little better. Uh, dodge, 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 dodge. You're so threatening. And spare. Uh, one gold. Okay, hopefully get this puzzle right this time, or I'm going to face palm so hard, okay? Please get it right this time. Seriously? I keep my word. I'm just going to wait for you to get up back up there. Don't worry, when it takes me a while to do... Pu when it takes me a while to do puzzles in the future... I I cut it out. I know there's one puzzle, like, in the next area that took me a while, but I'm not gonna spoil it. Anyway, uh, alright, let's... Alright, mold small, block the way. And... Oh, I guess I missed this fight because that was so short. <laughs> I'll just keep it in. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. <laughs> mm -hmm. You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Hmm, that was the wrong direction. Okay, I think I got it. 
All right, now the spikes are out of the way. Or were they? Mm -hmm. You wanted me to stay there. You're giving me a real workout. The protagonist's face looks so done. She looks so done. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. Saving at the mouse. Well, not saving at the mouse hole, apparently. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. There's a mouse in there, apparently, but we can't do anything about that. Alright, we got this thing. At which point I start second-guessing myself. What else is new? Look at that face, though! <laughs> Alright. gone yet. This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force. Here comes Napstablook. I always want to call it Napstablock. Alright, so... This theme is very interesting. Attack 10, defense 10. This monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm real funny. Alright, so this is our first boss, if you can call it that? Sort of a mini-boss? Also, I have always been confused by that attack. Nasta Blue is pretending to sleep. Um, let's... Uh, let's cheer it on. You gave Nasta Blue a patient smile. <sighs> really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. <laughs> Nasta Blue looks just a little bit better. Great, let's, let's threaten it. Um, you give Naps to block a cruel look. Go ahead, do it. Like I said, I'm not going to be doing all the possible options because it would simply take too long. Naps to block just looks just a little bit better because we threaten it, obviously. I just wear you down. Once again, this is a very interesting thing. Actually, the music in this... Just the music in general is really good, actually, in this game. I told Naps to block a little joke. <laughs> but yes, uh, the music in this game is really good. The team ring seems to improve Nabster Blue's mood again. Once more, Nabster Blue wants to show you something. Let me try. And somehow, he cries himself a top hat. Better than a sweater. Call it that, but do you like it? Nabster Blue eagerly awaits your response. Oh, gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Thank you. Alright. Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Alright, let's see this. 7G in the web. You have eight slots to hold things, by the way, so I figured that out kind of later. 10, 18G in the web? I don't have enough for that, so I'm just gonna leave it in this one. Uh, yes. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. Now that's in our inventory. Spider donut. Spider donut. Heals 12 HP. A donut made with spider cider in the batter. I don't want to think about what spider cider is. It's just a donut. It's a healing item. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down and to the right. Come eat food made by spiders, for spiders, of spiders. We're just gonna move on. Ribbit, ribbit. <sighs> my friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right, pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. Ribbit. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. What, what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I have only seen a maximum of three fro frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. Now we can't have any more frogs, and this is, this is basically what X does. I'm going to use it a lot, so I was just kind of testing out. It just stops the scrolling effect. I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? Very helpful. It is rather helpful. 
Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day, you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. And that is a hint for something later. Okay, looks drew near. Looks chick. Attack six, defense six. Don't pick on him. Family name, I Walker. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that there. Please don't pick on me. Alright. Luke gnashes its teeth. You rude little snipe! I actually wasn't meaning to pick on him there. I was meaning not to, but I wasn't looking. Luke's just staring right through you. Don't pick on. Finally, someone gets it. Alright, let's just dodge this weird looking thing. Luke's just staring right through you. Let's see what we can do now. Oh, we can spare him. His name is yellow, like that frog said, so. Five gold. We'd be close to affording the big spider web. Okay. Hello? I just realized that it has been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Great brief hint that we will be getting inventory stuff. There's just one switch. I completed this puzzle because, again, it was in the demo, and I played the demo, and I enjoyed the demo. So I know that's where the switch is, but looking back, there's probably some other item in here. Back up. And we saw the side of something down there, so let's go and check it out. I fell down a hole. No, I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. <laughs> also, there are the some little things down there, but I didn't want to deal with them. Believe me when I say I'm going to deal with them very soon. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. But yeah, we don't want to deal with what's down there. Why would you scrub it? Okay, there we go. Alright. Um... If you can read this, press the blue switch. Well, we saw where the blue switch was, but the room is turned around. You can see everything's rotated 90 degrees. And here we have my gosp crawled up close. That's a freaky looking thing. My gosp. Crawled up close. Um, just gonna, la la, just be yourself. This enemy only attacks when it's with other enemies, so I spare them mold small so it doesn't really do much. And then you can immediately spare it, but I'm gonna chat first. My gosp, attack seven, defense five. It seems evil, but it's just with the wrong crowd. Nothing like alone time. Yeah, it's just gonna dance. If you run into it, it'll do damage, but why would you do that? Let's talk to it. Hiya. Hiya, pal. <laughs> For being so freaky looking, it's pretty cheery. At least when it's alone. Alright, too old. Let's get the switch. It's a switch. Press it. Yes. You hear clicking sounds. We just hit the blue switch, and that room is open to us now. Which turned the room 90 degrees again. If you can read this, press the red switch. Which we can see right over there. But we're going to be interrupted. Vegetoid came out of the earth. Now that is freaky looking. <sighs> Alright, I don't like those enemies very much. Especially now when they're alongside of my gosh. They feel like very strong enemies for this point in the game, though I'm probably just suckish. Attack 6, death 6, serving size 1 monster, not monitored by the USDA. Farmed locally, very locally. Legion, we are legion. And you see how the Mygosp attacks here. Vegetoid cackles softly. Mygosp. Um, I don't know what I was doing there. I don't need to do anything to the Mygosp. Alright, you can talk to it. Plants can't talk, dummy. Obey the overmind. Okay, this is going bad. Vegetoid's here for your health. Alright. You ate the monster candy. Very unlicorice like. You recover 10 HP. In unison now. Alright, more crazy plants getting thrown at me. Vegetoid's here for your health. Alright. I'm just going through all the options here, and this is about the point where I stopped. Vegetoid. You pet your snack. Veg. Stomach. Also, apparently that green thing heals you. 
I probably should have seen that. It even said eat your greens, but yeah. I basically decided that you had- this is actually the first time I fight anything you see. Fresh morning taste. But, um, yeah. I, uh, some enemies you do need to weaken before you can do anything to it, and I thought this was the case with a Vegetoid? Part of a complete breakfast? <laughs> okay, it's just free, okay? Vegetoid, cackle softly. Let's... Let's... Attack again. Farm locally. Very locally. You can also eat it for HP, but... I wasn't gonna do that. I mean, I think it counts as killing something, and this is a pacifist run, as I said. Or at least a neutral run and a pacifist for now, until I understand the endings better. Too old, yay! It's a switch, press it. Yes, you hear a clicking noise. And now we have two of them. A pair of vegetoids. This is gonna end well. Actually, I know exactly how this ends. You ate the spider donut! I'm surprised they didn't say anything about the spider donut. And I'm just gonna kinda watch this. And wince. I don't want- I don't know how you actually get to spare them without lowering their health. I mean, maybe you eat the green fruit, which I didn't get to do? I don't know. I don't know. I just know that I obviously have a lot of trouble avoiding these attacks because for some reason... I, for some reason, I always have problems dodging their attacks and oh boy, look at that health down there. Look at that health down there. One of them left. Oh gee, I wonder what's gonna happen. First episode, guys. Yup. You cannot give up just yet. More. Stay determined. Yep, it's a very good thing I actually decided to save. Alright, I just skipped getting back there, so... I basically had to fight the ghost again, and then a lot of random encounters, so yeah, it wasn't worth watching. Back here. If you can read this... Press the green switch. Apparently yellow is green now. Because that switch really looked yellow to me. I don't know if that's just me being blind, but okay. Alright, let's get the clickety click and go through the thing. Oh, I'm yelling. Stop. Stop it, Laura. Got a lot of stuff to do for school. I can't fall asleep now. It's between you and me. I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too, too intimidated to talk to her. She doesn't seem intimidating. And also, that is pretty. This must be the boots or maybe the cat. You found the toy knife. All right, this is a weapon. Uh, an equipable item, toy knife. Toy knife, weapon attack three, made of plastic. A rarity nowadays. I don't know if they were talking about plastic or the toy knife. <laughs> you equip toy knife. Uh, old weapon, a stick. Stick, weapon attack zero. Its bark is worse than its bite. Right, let's head up. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Ugh. Well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Yeah, I, oh, every time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. I feel like that tree's important, but I don't know how. Anyway, uh, yeah, you're darn right you shouldn't have left me alone. I got killed by a vegetable. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. And, uh, sorry for the random cut, I ki kind of did a dumb there, because I actually went in and activated the next cutscene without realizing that this was actually going to be my stopping point for this recording. Uh, and it's a good thing, too, because I would have more to post commentary if I didn't do that. And this is also a very long episode, so yeah, the episodes for this series might wind up being kind of long, just so I can say I've made a decent amount of progress. 
and I apologize for that and hope you can stick with me through them. Next episode, I can confirm, is going to be shorter. Actually, much shorter than this one, and probably a lot shorter than the normal episodes will be. But anyway, so far, we got into the ruins, and we saw how this game works. And we met nice Goat Mom. And next time, we will see what she has in store for us in there, what her little surprise is. But for now, this is Paper Lair Plays, signing off. See you around. Oh, oh, <laughs> my controller isn't plugged in right now. Because I had to panic and accidentally save over my previous chat. Luckily, that was salvageable. My gosh, that would have been awful. Losing like an hour of footage and needing to restart the whole game. Sheesh.